Now, Kaduna gets attention now as the Chief of Air Staff Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar says the Nigerian Air Force will continue to intensify efforts in the fight against insurgency, banditry and other national security challenges. The Air Chief who said that this at the graduation ceremony for all the aerial patent movement phase four training in Kaduna says NAV will always provide enough medical support for troops in the front line to boost their morale. Represented by Air Officer Commanding Ground Training Command, Air Vice Marshal Idi Amin, the Air Chief says the concentration of the training is largely on combat operations, which is to improve the capacity of the NAV medical personnel to evacuate wounded troops and the theater of operations more effectively and efficiently. See, the, the medical, its participation in a theater of war did not only reassure the troops, but it boosts their morale that should, in case anything happens to them, there are people that will take good care of them and they won't allow them to die. Chief of Medical Services, Nigerian Air Force, Air Commodore Gideon Bako says NAV aeromedical evacuation teams have been deployed to the Northeast and some African countries to participate in missions, while the representative of the U.S. Air Force, Lieutenant Colonel Peter Shahan, says he's impressed with the equipment and efforts of the force. Of aeromedical evacuation stationed in Yola and Meduguri, respectively. In addition, the NAV Aeromedical evacuation team have also been deployed to missions in Mali, Sudan, among others. The quality of troops from the Nigerian Air Force, everything they've displayed has been great. They've been hardworking, they've been smart, they've been well equipped, and um, we've trained them as best as we can. So uh, we bring brought a lot of capability, and and they're they're going to bring that capability to the fight. 